Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis. And I'm Stacy. And today we're going to show you everything that we picked up at garage sales to flip online for a profit. And make sure you guys stick around until the end. Because we have two more Pass of Arcana cards to open. Hopefully we pull something spectacular. So stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah, my niece is six, and she's a color third grader. That's my niece is a third grader. On your bag? That bag right there? Okay. It's a hundred dollars. Okay, it's a hundred and fifty bucks new. So I got it. Over here, this table has a couple of plug-and-play like games. There's an Atari one, a SpongeBob one, and like a Namco arcade one. Um, and those go for about twenty dollars shipped give or take. Um, the seller wanted a little bit too much because I think he wanted $5 a piece, so I had to pass. But if you guys do see these and you get them for pretty cheap, like a dollar, um, I'd definitely pick them up. So I've sold Pelagic boots in the past and they've done really well for me. These ones, unfortunately, they were not in great shape, so I had to pass on them. But if you guys do see Pelagic boots or bathing suits, definitely cop them out because they could be worth some good money. They always used to decorate so cool. Yeah. Look at him. That's crazy. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Watch out, heads are rolling over there. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta have that one. All right. <laughs> There's a beating heart. Oh, look at these. Look at all these. Look at all the ears and the fingers. And Those the are eyeballs. Cool. <laughs> Those are fun.
There's a bunch more bags right here too. Okay. We just couldn't hang them all. <laughs> okay, thank you. We obviously had way too many purses. <laughs> it's like laughable now, but it wasn't at the time. <laughs> you like some of them? You wanna hold this? Yeah, did you want that? Like anything else you like? Okay. So I guess it depends on how much it is, and this could be okay too. But this is our baby. I love this house. Oh Are all the discs in here? Did you never use them? Yeah, all the discs are in there. So yeah, yeah. Oh, she got the purse. I think that purse is adorable. She's cute. Do you like this? No. Pass on this. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's more coastal hmm? somewhere. How it's about like um yeah. Yeah. how about your liners? These are coastal. Alright, about ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> You're ready. Yeah. You found good stuff uh, last time too, I remember you. <laughs> oh, Christmas stuff now. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna Okay. And how much is the doll? A dollar. <laughs> okay. And I got two masks. Uh, a dollar. dollar. Yeah. Okay. So what do you have? Um, so you have three dollars in Halloween, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. thirteen, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, thirteen. I'm glad you appreciate my Halloween stuff. <laughs> we used to decorate a lot, but then we weren't getting as many trick-or-treaters. Thank you so much. Thank you. you guys have Listen. a good rest of the day. You too. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank, thank you. you. As we're walking up to this sale, I noticed they have a Bob's Punching Dummy. And these can be really good to resell if you can get them for the right price. They're worth about $150. So if you can get them for a good price, I'd pick them up. And as I'm heading up this table with all of the glassware, I noticed they have two pitchers, these Blendo pitchers. They're like these like frosted glasses. Um, one's a blue one, one's a purple one. Usually they come in sets with like the matching cups that go with them, but these are just the pitchers by themselves. On the blue one, I said it was $30. So that's a little bit too much for me to get into. That's about what they go for. So I had a pass on that. It would have been really cool if she had the complete set. No, no cops. Just the pictures. All right. Ready? Yes. Okay. I was showing Stacy a salt and pepper shaker. This was just the salt shaker, but this pattern, be on the lookout for, is called Mary Mushroom. And there's all sorts of different pieces to this set. There's a canister set, a spoon rest, a spice jar set, a planter, and lots more. So just be on the lookout for this pattern because it's very popular.
clothes or all yarn? You want to buy all the yarns? Do you have a price for it? Uh, let me count. Because we normally sell $20 for a bag. $20 for a bag? Yeah, because it's like five in a bag. Okay. Stacy was looking at these yard skines, and a couple of videos ago we bought a whole big tote full of yarn, and we did pretty well with that. So we were asking if they, you know, would consider selling the whole lot, but she wanted $20 for a bag of five, which was not a great deal, so we ended up passing on that. So at this sale the GoPro died, but I pulled up my phone to record some of the things that we picked up, but Stacy and I are going to show you everything that we picked up from this sale right now. So one of the sales that we went to, they had a lot of holiday items. So when I first got there, I saw they had a lot of Halloween stuff, a lot of like decorations. And in my mind, I'm automatically thinking, please let there be a scream mask in one of these buckets. So the lady was like still taking some stuff out and she's like, oh, she's like, don't you want this? Or isn't this what you're looking for? And she pulled out the scream mask. And in my mind, I'm like, yes, absolutely. That is exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Because some of the screen masks can go for some really good money, especially the earlier editions that are made by Fun World. Those are the ones that go for the most money. So if you guys see those, if you flip the mask over and look on the chin, on the very bottom, it will say Fun World. So look for that because they can be really good. We're talking like in the hundreds to two hundred dollar range. That's so um, crazy. Yeah, I know. For that. I know. I, when I because I found one a couple of years ago and I was just shocked when I comped it out and I ended up selling it. I think for like hundred and fifty dollars. I feel like you manifested finding the mask. Yeah, this one wasn't one of the older ones. This was a newer one, but I still think it's worth like 15 or $20. And we're coming up on Halloween season, so I think it will sell. Cool. Yeah. And then also at that same sale, she had a lot of purses. Uh -huh. and yeah, I saw you looking through that bin of purses. Yeah, yeah. I handed you the coach one yes. to look up to see what you thought of it. Yeah. And I think you said it was only worth like $20. Yeah, it was. I feel like it's one of those ones you get like as a gift, like a little freebie if you buy a whole bunch of... I mean, I don't know. It was really light. It just didn't feel that high quality. Yeah. So we left that one behind because her prices were a little bit high on the purse because she wanted... I did get the Michael Kors, the little little crossbody cross body, yeah. except it was missing the, the strap and I didn't realize that until we got home I thought it would have just been inside it wasn't so that might have been a bad pickup I don't yeah, know we don't know some Michael Kors things can be really good to pick up but then other things aren't as good so it just depends yeah if you can get it for a good price yeah yeah and then she also had this really cute little sheep figurine and it had the the big eyes so yeah. I always look up when I find older figurines that have those big eyes those mm -hmm. seem to do really well they seem to be popular yeah it was really cute it was good condition no chips or cracks or yeah. anything so mm -hmm. and yeah. the colors the paint was really good too yeah mm -hmm. so if you do find any of those older figurines that have the big eyes definitely look them up because they could be worth some some good money yeah and she also had that Halloween Chucky um, little doll it was from the newer version of Chucky. It was like from the old school, you know, back in the 80s movies. But still, I think it's worth like $15 or $20. And it was in pretty good condition. So I picked that up as well. The last sale that we went to that day, your GoPro died. Yes. As soon as we walked up, pretty uh, much. And those batteries. We didn't have another battery. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, so we just recorded a little bit just to show you. I tried to, to go through the pile, but we wanted to give you like a better look of everything we picked up because they had some good stuff. Yeah, I wish did. we had gone to that sale earlier in the day because I, I feel know. like they would have had a lot more. Right. I know. I don't think that sale was advertised. It was a freestyle sale. Yeah. Which those are, are the good ones. Those are the good ones. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the first thing that I saw, she had a whole uh, box full of Christmas stuff. And she had a bunch of these uh, plush head stockings. This is a little Sesame Street. What's his name? Big, Big Bird. Yeah, Big Bird. <laughs> Big Bird. Elmo. Yeah. Tigger. Poo. And a Winnie the Pooh. So we cute. sold, yeah, they are really cute. And I like the plush heads. I think these are going to be good. But we've sold the Tigger one before. Yeah. And I had it listed for a long time, and then it sold at Christmas time. So I feel like once we get closer to Christmas, these yeah. are, are going to sell. So it's a good time to pick these up because I feel we're coming up on Christmas. Right. Do you yeah. feel like if we picked this up in January or you found these in January, would you have picked them up? I mean, Christmas I probably so still would have picked them up, but waited until Christmas time to list them. Yeah. But I think they're going to sell for like $20, $25 each. So okay. yeah, that was a good find. Nice find. And we also got one of these felt advent calendars. We've done really well with these in the past. This is really cute. Yeah, I feel like these are popular. The brand on this one is Prima Creations, but it's just a felt advent calendar. I think it might be missing the piece that, you know, you put in each of the, yeah. for the days, but still somebody can use something else for that. Yeah. And it's in good condition. Just needs to be cleaned up. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So I think this is probably around thirty dollars. Okay. So good price. Awesome. Yeah, we yeah. love we love finding like advent calendars. I do. Yeah. yeah. I'm always on the lookout for the Avon advent calendar. That one's really popular and goes for over a hundred dollars. All right. Well, what's that look like? It has a little house with Mr. and Mrs. Claus on the inside, and then there's a little mouse yeah. that you move that you day by day. Head. Yeah. So of course it's worth more if you have the mouse, but. Even if we found it without the mouse. We're going to find really one. Exciting. We're going to find yeah, one. That's on my Bolo list. Heard. <laughs> well, I mean, you just found the monster last week on, the, on your Bolo list. So yeah. it's coming. We're going to find it. Yes. Yeah. 
And then we also found this awesome this is cute. Disney tree skirt. The brand is Disney Unlimited. And uh, I there's a couple listed, but when we got home, I checked Terra Peak. And one has sold for 100 and one sold for 50 So... So we're thinking... She had really good prices, so yeah. I thought it was worth it to try, especially since we're pretty close to Christmas. Yeah. I need to clean it up a little bit. It's a little fuzzy, and I'll probably use the, the sweater shaver on it yeah. to get some of this off. But I think it could be worth it. And then it had a matching stocking. Cute. Awesome, yeah. Like and that. where's the hats? Oh, they're over here. Oh, gotcha. And these Santa hats. Got them. Yeah. Okay. Match, too. Aren't they so cute? Yeah. There's a Mickey and a Minnie. Awesome. Adorable. I wonder if she had a Minnie um, stocking. Yeah, because I there's was Mickey and many of these, but yeah, we, I, we didn't see any. Let me show you the Disney Unlimited tag. I just love finding Disney Christmas things. Yeah. And then we also found this very special ornament set. Really cool. <laughs> I just like that it's in a box. <laughs> yeah. And wait till you see inside. I mean, it's complete. Yeah, it's, it's complete. Got the tag I think with all it. the bears have their tags on them still. I mean, look at all these little faces looking at you. They're so cute. They're adorable. Someone's gonna love this, I know it. These are really cool and I think they're all in really good condition. I don't even know, do you think they were used? No, I don't no, think so. No, I don't think so either. Um, I saw a sold comp for $30 for these, so I think that's worth it, yeah. especially because they're, it's pretty much new and with the box. And with the box, yeah. yeah. Finding things like this that have the original box is always gonna add some value to it. Yes, yeah. and then I also picked up these two Scooby plushes. Yes. This was kind of just like a last minute I threw it in the pile. Yeah. Because I've seen other people pick up vintage Scooby stuff and usually it's pretty good, but I don't think these are worth that much. Uh, this one could have been if it was the larger figure. Yeah, yeah. the larger Scooby plush of this one too. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, are, are good, like 50 to $100, yeah. but well, I don't think the smaller ones are. They, like large meaning like two feet yeah. large. Like, yeah, big like, plush. Yeah, this one's like one, like one foot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, her prices were so good, I just threw it in the pile and figured I'd yeah. check it out later. So, but if you do find vintage Scooby stuff, it's definitely worth it to look up um, because a lot of it is, is really good. There's a blanket that does really well, like over a hundred dollars. The okay. big, like we said, the big Scooby plush yeah. can be really good. There's a Scooby um, golf uh, head cover, cover that's yeah. really good, like fifty dollars. So. Always, always check. Yeah. Because you never know. You never know. You never know. And then I found a video game. It's an Xbox 360 game. Nothing spectacular. It's Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda. But it is brand new and sealed, so I just kind of threw this in the pile, too. So I picked that up as well. All right, guys. So now we're going to open up the Lorcana cards and see what we can pull out. The moment you've all been waiting for. The moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> all right. You're going you're gonna to open these up? Yep. It's kind of crazy how these, like, they come in the cardboard, but the pack's actually inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I'm going to get the camera and show you what Stacy pulls out, and then I'll show you what I pull. We both got Maleficent. We both got answer. Maleficent on the front. So we'll see what happens. All right, Stacy, Pull something great out of there. I'm ready. You ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Let's get an enchanted or a legendary. Okay, so the first six are common cards. Common. Common, so that, that little That's peach pretty. ball. Yeah, we got Aurora. Aurora. Tangle, Stitch. Stitch. Oh, I don't think we got him before. Archimedes. Fire the cannons. Fire the cannons. Smash. So this this symbol are the uncommons. So you get three of those, and then you get What's to the that? rares. All right, so we got the this triangles are rare. Do it again. Do it again. This now this next one could be something. Okay, we got a super rare. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Oh, and a common, common and a, a common boo. foil. Gosh. All right, not bad. All right. <laughs> All right, my turn. All right, here we go. Travis's turn. Let's make it happen here. Can we get some legendaries? Maybe an enchanted. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got steam. Uh, steamboat Mickey. Ooh. Golden flower. I like that card. Scar, Timon, Dr. Facilier, these are all the common ones, Simba, Cheshire Cat, Belle, all right, next one we're getting into the rares, Mickey Mouse, another rare, Moana, and a foil of Captain, which is a uncommon. Not spectacular. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us as we went to garage sales today and finding a whole bunch of items that we can flip online for a profit. I think we did pretty good today. We found, yeah. we found some pretty good stuff. Yeah. Lorcana cards, a different story. Wasn't anything really <laughs> that great in there. That's fun, though. I, I think the best one was probably that super rare um, Robin Hood one. So when I say good cards, I don't know if you guys remember, the first time we opened some Lorcana cards, we got a Bell, which was a legendary card. And we ended up selling that. That was worth about $30. So I think the best one in this set that we opened, there was a super rare Robin Hood, probably only worth about $5 plus, you know, some shipping. So maybe like $10 shipped. So not that great. So really the cards that are worth the most are going to be like your rare cards. And those foil cards that we got at the very end, if you get a foil and like a super rare or a legendary, those can be really good too, like 50 or 100. But the enchanteds are worth, are worth the most, especially Elsa. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and now we're going to show you what everything is worth. Bye, Bye. guys.